Welcome to CGS Tech. There is a growing trend amongst new homeowners in building their homes in alternative ways. The reasons might be affordability, durability, or living a more eco-friendly and self-sufficient lifestyle. We're going to take a look at some unconventional home designs and tell you how they came about or what advantages they might offer. For more information, check out the links in the description. Grain silos are sturdy and cheap structures, and nowadays, as agricultural production is becoming more industrialized, many older or smaller grain bins in rural communities are standing empty. There is a growing number of people that have converted these structures into living facilities. One of the main reasons is cost, as there is a dramatic difference in prices compared to traditional housing. Metal silos also offer wind resistance due to their round shape, durability, fire resistance, and design that allows for more creative freedom. There are several ways of going about getting one and converting it into a living space. If you don't already have a grain silo on your property, then you'll have to find some empty ones in your area. This is usually the cheapest option, if in decent condition. Alternatively, new grain bins can cost as little as $30 per square foot and can be put anywhere. Old ones can usually be taken apart and relocated as well. There are some grain silo home plans across the internet that can help with the conversion. Or you can hire an architect or a contractor. One important thing is to insulate the silo against the heat and the cold. One way to do this is to put one small silo into a larger one, and then to insulate the space in between. Or using the conventional farming studs, pack insulation and then drywalling it. A tip to bend the drywall is to wet it and flex it into place. For electric and plumbing, codes vary from state to state, so hiring a professional is the best way to go. Since grain bins are metal, it is necessary to ensure safety from lightning strikes by using industrial grounding rods. Grain silos are spacious, sturdy, and can be adaptively reused in creative ways. Some people have turned them into homes, while others have made them into unique inns that attract visitors. Hong Kong design firm Cybertecture founded by Hong Kong native James Law, has created a small housing unit constructed out of low-cost and readily available concrete water pipes and culvert sections that can be used as transient public housing, fast-constructed accommodation, or disaster relief shelters. Opod 1 is a micro-housing unit designed to ease Hong Kong's affordable housing problem. Made out of concrete water pipes, 2.5 meters or about 8 feet in diameter, that provides a strong shell for a 100 square feet or 9.5 square meter micro apartment. Opod 1 has all the basic necessities like living, cooking, and bathroom spaces. Pods can be stacked together to form a low rise building and also be relocated to different sites in the city. Similar to Opod 1, Box Pod is built on the same idea, but instead of round pipes, it utilizes concrete box culvert sections for a more traditional square housing unit. Designed with high ceilings, BoxPod provides more storage space, as well as openable windows, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing are organized at the rear of each unit. BoxPod is entirely built and outfitted in the factory and delivered to the site on a truck. Box pods can be stacked up to five levels high without modifications or even higher with additional structural supports. James Law's CyberTexture aims to build a better world by offering leading-edge architectural designing and planning services as well as doing public benefit projects. Nestled on treetops of a rainforest and overlooking the Pacific Ocean is what looks like an airplane wreckage turned into a modern accommodation. Actually, it's a vintage Boeing 727 airplane, salvaged from a junkyard in San Jose, Costa Rica and refurbished into one of the most exclusive hotel suites in the whole of Costa Rica. The plane, before being decommissioned, shuttled passengers all over the world for South Africa Air and Columbia Avianca Airlines. The plane's shell was transported in pieces on big rig trucks to the jungles of Manuel Antonio National Park, where it was resurrected into a unique jumbo hotel suite perched on a 50-foot pedestal. At this height, guests enjoy scenic ocean and jungle views from the hardwood deck built atop the plane's right wing. The inside of the aircraft is covered in tropical teak wood and handmade wood furnishings, giving it a sense of a tropical vacation home. Monkeys, sloths, and over 180 species of birds are neighbors 
greeting guests in their private jungle paradise. Adjacent is the Costa Verde Hotel, with three pools, four restaurants, and many other tourist attractions and activities nearby. Airship, designed by Roderick James Architects, a firm from the UK, is a metal-clad insulated living pod currently serving as a tourist rental in several locations. Visually, it looks like a cross between a submarine and a zeppelin, with its aluminum and stainless steel shell, large glass windows, and unorthodox design. The intention was to make a structure that would be self-sufficient, lightweight, maintenance-free, adaptable, and suitable for virtually any location. Being made from aluminum, all the component parts can be carried by one or two people for assembly on site. Its modular construction means it can be adapted for almost any size. The airship has a living and dining area, kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. The interior timber cladding, along with the wood stove, gives it a cozy feeling. The sitting area is encased in glass panels offering a panoramic view of the landscape. The airship accommodates two to four people and has all the necessities for a comfortable stay. Visitors have praised its breathtaking views, surprisingly spacious interior, quiet setting, and cozy fireside atmosphere. Timberline Geodesics out of California have been designing and selling timber geodesic dome kits that make it easy, practical, and affordable for anyone to construct their own home. Their construction system uses a patented connector system that assures precision even for inexperienced builders. Dome homes are becoming even more popular due to their spherical shape that uses approximately one-third less surface area to enclose the same amount of volume as a box-type structure. Domes offer better energy efficiency because there is less area for the heat to escape or outside air to penetrate. A curved surface enables natural and efficient interior air circulation, while on the outside, the natural aerodynamics of a dome makes it resistant to high winds. Spherical design is also incredibly strong because the stress is shared evenly on all points of the structure. The structural framework of the Timberline Dome consists of 2x6 wooden struts and the special Steel Star connector system, easy-to-follow illustrated assembly manual and pre-cut, pre-drilled, color-coded lumber virtually eliminate the possibility of confusion or mistakes. Two people can complete the framework in a couple of days. Timberline domes are completely freestanding during construction. No special tools or expensive lift equipment like cranes or forklifts are needed. Standard kits range from about $10,000 to $65,000 and include a complete dome shell kit and any add-ons like skylight, extension kit, and so on. Customers purchase off-the-shelf finishing material locally. This includes the roofing material, insulation, electrical, plumbing, doors, finishes, and similar. Buying these materials locally saves money on shipping. Timberline geodesic domes have been constructed in all 50 states in the U.S. and internationally as well. Floodool is a floating house constructed out of fiberglass floating modules, which are light, durable, and characterized by a high level of thermal and acoustic insulation. Fiberglass composite material is fireproof, resistant to humidity and salt, and non-corrosive. The composite technology is widely used in the automotive, aviation, rail, and marine industry. Floodool can be either a five-star luxury apartment anchored in a bay, an office, a tourist accommodation, or a floating house to live in. The optional equipment includes air conditioning, floor heating, black and gray water treatment, LED illumination, and smart home systems. It's also possible to incorporate off-grid technologies like photovoltaic collectors, solar panels, power battery, and water or wind turbines. Module design allows the Floodool to be transported to any place in the world. The standard version consists of three modules, all together with a floor area of 80 square meters and a roof terrace equal in size. Thanks for watching. We'll have more interesting content coming soon. Stay tuned.